Hi, this is Amy from Revolutionary Chicken. I came up with this crazy device about nine years ago, and this is my automatic coop door opener. And the best part of it is the chickens do it themselves. It uses their natural instinct to roost, to hop up on this bar, and when they're all on this bar, when the last one gets on the bar, then it goes like that, and um, their door closes. So I will show you in action in just a minute, but I just wanted to show you kind of how it works outside. It's just so simple. There are no batteries, no timers, no electricity. No, don't have to worry about you know power outages or anything. And they close their door when they want it closed. They open their door when they want to go out. It's just, it's so simple. Now, drawback. This is only, as you can see, this is not for you know, a huge flock of chickens. Um, this is made for three to six chickens. So if you have more chickens, you can still, you can um, tweak it, you know, tweak my plans um, and make it for your size flock. But this, this fits kind of a smallish coop. My coop is about three and a half deep, four feet wide, and I have six chickens. So it works for me. Um, I hope it can work for you too. Um, the plans are on my website, revolutionarychicken.com. Okay, so here is my coop. It's not that big, but it's about the right size for about six chickens. And I'm gonna show you the, how it goes with the, um, the automatic door inside of it. So as you can see, the shavings take, uh, the shavings cover most of the um, base. So the only thing really sticking up that it gets in their way is this center column. Um, the base is only about three quarters high, so it's not really an issue that it takes up most of the space of their coop. They don't even really notice. Um, once we open that door, they're gonna come in here because they are very curious as to what is going on right now. They're like, let me in. Anyway, so, but this is what happens. Um, so I have this little rope tied to the eye hook at the end of the automatic door opener and then it's attached attached inside to a pulley. <laughs> yeah, go inside. Okay, and then from the pulley it goes to this little cup hook. And so I only have one pulley and then it's attached to the top of the door. So basically, once this goes down, it goes up to the pulley, over to the eye hook, and down to the door. And notice the door is just free floating. See this, it's not attached, which makes it so there's not a lot of friction, so it opens and shuts easily. easily. And you might say, well, then, you know, like an animal could get in, but they can't because there's no handhold for them to get in. They push in and it doesn't do anything. So yeah, I've never had any raccoon or any other animal be able to get in when that door is shut. Okay, so this goes down, that goes up, and here they come. They're very curious. So I'm gonna put the rest of the weights on here and I'll also show you a short video of them actually how they use it every night. So, and this, is I tell you what, I don't have to worry about my chickens at night. They just, they shut their own door behind them. Isn't that nice? We had some chickens, no eggs when they lay. We had some chickens, no eggs when they lay. My wife said, ah! Day this rooster came in our yard and caught those chickens <laughs> right off their guard. They're laying eggs now, just like they used to. Ever since that rooster he came in our yard. Okay, 
I know there are skeptics out there who are saying there's no way this can work. This is a bad idea. <laughs> Very dangerous. However, I have used this for nine years and it works for me. So, you know, yes, as the chickens are growing, you have to keep a really uh, close eye on it because that will um, change the balance. Um, but chickens, you know, once they are about, I don't know, six months old, like they just stay about the same weight. They don't do yo-yo dieting. They're not going to suddenly lose weight. Now, if you lose a chicken during the day, like I say, if a dog killed a chicken, then yes, you do have to recalibrate at that point. Um, also, your chickens just naturally roost at night. That's what they do because that's their instinct. Once in a while, you may get a stubborn chicken who refuses to roost. And um, I've had that myself. And so what I do when I get a chicken that just doesn't want to roost, um, instead of just saying, okay, I can't use this anymore, I wait it to the second to last chicken or say fifth chicken out of six chickens. And that way um, it will close as the fifth chicken goes up on the roost. But by that time, the other chicken is, has always been inside. It takes a little bit longer for everybody to get up on the roost than it does for one to just get in the coop. So I've never had an issue with that. Um, it's, just, it's just a very nice solution. It's very cheap. And you probably already have all of the, um, all of the materials at your house or, or close to it. So check out my website, revolutionarychicken.com for the plans. And also make sure and subscribe because I have a lot more revolutionary ideas for you and you do not want to miss out. We had some chickens. No eggs, but they lay.